What is up, everybody? This is the Chicago Sports Talk, Michael, with another video discussing the Chicago Bears' future. So, this, um, these last three three games, that being against the Cardinals, the Falcons, and Green Bay Packers, will determine this team's future, uh, future, and where certain individuals are going. That being said, let's start off with, as of, of course, we're going to do it always just for the sake of this video and for the sake of Bears fans. I know we're going to probably beat this to a dead horse until draft day. Is quarterback Justin Fields um, going to be the Bears quarterback for next year? Now, people are out on Justin Fields, and I get it because people want to see consistency, and we – um. We haven't seen consistency, but at the same time, folks, it's hard to get a good core. It's hard to get an elite quarterback in the NFL, like Patrick Mahomes, like Peyton Manning, like Tom Brady. All those quarterbacks that I just named right there are lightning in a bottle. And taking a quarterback, the first overall pick, will either do two things. It can either set your franchise back a decade or it could be turned out really good for you. Now, people want to take that opportunity and say that resetting the quarterback clock will be the smartest decision, but I don't think that is necessarily the case because even if you draft a Caleb Williams or Drake Maine, Ryan Poles could still lose his job the the same season just because we did the same thing with Ryan Pace after we drafted uh, Justin Fields, so... Throughout my years of being a Bears fan, I accepted that the Bears in my lifetime will never have a superstar quarterback. And that's fine if you say it's loser mentality, but when you've had the longest quarterback carousel since 2009, it's impossible to have a superstar to trust and believe you'll have that quarterback that takes you to the next uh, – to becomes an elite level and I get it Bears fans are impatient and I get it we never had a good quarterback in our history but it's hard it's hard to get a good quarterback Caleb Williams is the same type of caliber quarterback as Justin Fields Caleb holds on the ball triple mount of long or than Justin Fields. Drake Maine, he may have a cannon of an arm, but he does turn the ball over in crucial moments. Y'all criticize Fields for that? Well, guess what? If we draft Drake Maine, that's the same issue. And let me get this straight for y'all. We need to think of the future. Just think the future for a second. The Bears currently, in this point of stage of time, have no and I repeat, no second round pick due to the Montez sweat trade. Just think about it for a second. The Bears have the first overall pick. And you can trade it to a team that wants Caleb Williams. The Giants, the Raiders, the Vikings. You can even, like, even the Patriots, who are one spot below you. You can still trade and build up for your future that's what ryan pole's goal was since the moment he stepped foot on at being the bears general manager was to build through the draft and so far ryan pole's only miss was valus jones jr besides from that he's been pretty damn good at, at drafting and if you think that all he needs to do with his first overall pick is get a quarterback and acquire a wide receiver in that span. You need to not become a general manager. You need to think about the future. And it's not only Caleb Williams that is, that is the probably the most talented quarterback in that draft class. There, This is a plenty quarterback draft class, mind you. I think you can get a couple sleepers in the later rounds if you want to be consistently saying you want to give up on fields. There's Bo Nix. There's J.J. McCarthy. There's Michael Penix. All those quarterbacks can be available. 
And I'm not saying move on from Fields. I'm saying pick up the dude's fifth-year option and give him one year. And if he stinks up the joint, keyword if again, with a much better offensive line, because I feel like his offensive line has improved, you give him Marvin Harrison Jr. or you give him uh, that LSU receiver, Mark Nervos or whatever, you, you give him that. And if, if he still stays up the joint, then fine. Put in the, the rookie that you drafted. But no, I am not going to be consent with taking a quarterback. And for one reason only, for one reason only, because the Bears have done this since they existed. Every three years, folks, the Bears move on from their current quarterback and they still keep the structure. And then when, when the structure falls apart, they fire the general manager and the head coach, and they bring in a whole new regime. It's a cycle that doesn't end, folks. I want to break the cycle. I'm trying to get you to see the bigger picture. And some of y'all want to say, nah, screw that. We need a quarterback. You need to build the team around the quarterback. It's impossible. And Caleb Williams is not a guaranteed. Neither is Drake Mayne. D Caleb Williams, and you need to stop with the whole listening to the media, because I guarantee you the more majority of the people that say that Caleb Williams is the GOAT have never, and I repeat, never seen him play. They throw the generational term every three years. Three years, they're going to say the same thing for Arch Manning. I guarantee you, I will bet every single penny that I bet for sports that I have lost. I will bet that that Arch Manning is going to be three years times and three years spans will be the fucking gener next generational quarterback. So none of these, the only quarterback that, ever and I repeat ever live up to his generational is Andrew Luck and he never won a Super Bowl because he went to a shitty organization the Colts and no quarterback that you select the first overall pick has won a Super Bowl since Peyton Manning y'all want to keep rolling the slot machine hoping you you get lucky with a quarterback except your quarterback for who he is I accept that we're not going to have a Patrick Mahomes. I accept that we're not going to have a Josh Allen, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, yada, yada, yada. I want to break the cycle, and that starts with building the team. If you think, and I repeat, if you think Ryan Poles doesn't have a mindset about how he's going to build this team this offseason and for the foreseeable future, which he was established. He established it day one, folks. Go look at the interview for yourselves. When he said, not only when he said he'll take the North to give it back, but we all know that was a long-term goal. His goal was to build through the draft. So he is going to turn the first overall pick into a, he already did it with the trade with the Carolina Panthers. Do you know if we can get that for Bryce Young? Imagine what we can get for Caleb. Caleb's more talented than Bryce Young, just FYI. So you we're thinking long term, folks. And if Justin Fields sucks. The net, guess what? You still drafted a guy in the later rounds that you can rely on. You dumb fucks. Educate yourselves. And as far as the whole roster goes, this team needs an edge rusher a, a, in a, um, included in that trade. We need a center. We need a left tackle because we don't know if Braxton Jones is the future. We need a cornerback just in case we don't re-sign Jalen Johnson. We need a safety. We need a we need all we need to build up the trenches because we need to think long term here, folks. And if we do hypothetically get Caleb or Drake Main, expect me to not believe in propaganda from you bears fans you can preach to me about he's the next uh generate he's the next peyton manning he's the greatest prospect he's better than patrick mahomes you can do it but i ain't being fooled by this one folks you you i'm not gonna be fair to caleb 
If Galo comes and he sucks, I'm gonna I'm gonna ragdoll him and say that you Bears fans are delusional. And 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 this is another hot take. If Fields leaves the Bears, let's just say he leaves. You know, there's no. Let's say he gets traded. He's gonna go to the Falcons or the Seahawks, and I guarantee you, he takes that team to the next level because he's gonna go to a coaching staff that can utilize his strengths and believes in him, and he goes in a good system. And guess what? He'll flourish. I guarantee it. And you look at the Bears, and guess what? If they move on from him, don't be surprised if the Bears mess up another quarterback. Because that's what the Bears are known for. You got retard fans over there wanting new quarterback, new this, new that. Break the cycle. Eventually, it has to break. And people want to say, oh, you have to keep trying. That's what the Bears have been doing since they existed. They kept drafting. And they haven't got it right. Do not preach to me about how you need to keep doing it until you get it right. When that's what have they been doing and they haven't gotten it right. We traded for Jay Cutler, which we were a quarterback way from being a Super Bowl contender. We traded, we traded with the 49ers and we selected Mitch Trubisky over Mahomes, which was a horrible draft pick looking back at it. Warden, we drafted Fields with like, we, we have the longest quarterback carousel of all time, folks. Accept the quarterback for who he is. And you build around it. You're not going to hit on every quarterback in this draft class. Why do you think there's more flourishes late rounds than there is first rounds? Ah, you guessed it because the media overhypes these people. They do the same thing. Watch. Guarantee it. Arch Manning will be three years. He'll be generational. Now, with that being said, Eberflus, I do believe he's staying for another year. But I'm figuring out that Luke Getzey's getting fired regardless. Um, I already discussed the Bears' future. Uh, please let me know in the comment section down below. I already know I'm going to get crucified. So, But anyways, that's, that's all for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. As always, thanks for watching.